Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. John Bolton goes nuclear, drops nuke on Barack Obama. Last week, Donald Trump announced that he had chosen former U.S. Ambassador to the UN John Bolton to succeed U.S. Army Lieutenant General H. R. McMaster as head of the National Security Council and chief foreign policy advisor. Now. Bolton has already made it clear that he is planning to make some big changes at Trump's White House. Conservative Tribune reported that rumors have spread through the White House that Bolton is planning to clean house, and holdovers from Barack Obama's administration are said to be the first ones on the chopping block. Bolton can and will clean house, stated one former White House official, while former official warned, everyone who was there during Obama years should start packing their S.H. Others that are said to be targeted by Bolton are people who have been disloyal to Trump, those suspected or found to have made unauthorized leaks to the media and even some who were brought in under McMaster but not considered to be in line with Trump's agenda. Though Bolton is planning to bring his own team in right away, it could take some time before he is able to truly purge the NSC of Obama holdovers and McMaster loyalists and put all of the people he wants in place. This comes after South Carolina GOP Senator Lindsey Graham backed Bolton as a national security advisor arguing that he is the right wingman for President Trump when he meets with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. So when President Trump meets Kim Jong-un, his national security adviser will be with him, Graham told Fox News Sunday Morning Futures. And the North Koreans know, without a doubt, that John Bolton sees their nuclear program as a threat to the United States and will strongly advise the president to use military force if he has to, which means it's less likely we will. John Bolton sees North Korea for the threat they are, Graham added. Trump just ordered around $60 billion in tariffs levied on Chinese imports, following an investigation into intellectual property theft. The president ran a campaign that China treats, Graham said. I don't blame them. I blame us. So you cannot be surprised that Donald Trump would do what he said he would do. And from my point of view, it's welcome news. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.